asking around. The question is, will these Democrats stand shoulder to shoulder like Republicans did back in the 1990s on welfare reform when they knew, like the Democrats know now, that they were on the side of right, and they continued pressing the issue, and finally you had a president who knew he was on the wrong side of the public opinion polls and that he was on the wrong side of the issue, and he had no choice but to decide Joe, Joe, you know George Bush doesn't believe he's on the wrong side of the issue. Neither does Cheney. They will say, they will... Veto that thing right down the line, and Joe, they will win it. Well, you know what? They can, they'll keep winning that vote until some point they need the money to continue the war. And at that point, they will be the ones that have a decision to make. This is not an all or nothing thing. The, the, the years of George W. Bush being able to call all the shots from the White House and say, basically, I can appropriate the money, I can spend the money, I can tell Congress George, who to write checks I mean, to, Joe, those days are over. Joe, you got more confidence in the Democrats than I do. Well, we'll we'll see whether the Democrats have more confidence the blue in the dogs, American the people blue dogs, than George W. Bush does, the because blue dogs the overwhelming go with the majority of Look Americans at, I mean, will support the Democrats doing that. Go ahead, we'll bring you in. Go ahead. Now, Pat Buchanan is in denial if he thinks that President Bush vetoing this will somehow be a, a victory for President Bush. Uh, the polls are clear. The the American public strongly supports this. And, and President Bush vetoing, I mean, clearly President Bush has no problem vetoing extremely popular legislation. The only one he's done is, is stem cell, uh, which has 70 plus support. And this bill is, is getting close to that. Uh, uh, I, th I, think, uh, I think the Democrats had a major uh, reset today. They're on very strong footing. And basically the Republican line now is, is what John Kerry was pushing back in 04. We support the funding, but actually we're going to oppose the funding. That's what you they're know, the staking question, their political though, fate is on. This. I mean, this is a question that Pat Buchanan's asking, and I think sure. it's a good question. Are Democrats going to have the courage to stand up when top Republicans accuse Democrats of trying to tie the hands you, of the generals and the president? I want you to take a listen to what Democrats are going to be hearing over the next several months. Roll the tape. The Republicans are not going to vote to tie the hands of our generals and our troops underground, uh, slowly bleed the resources away from them, and we're not going to vote for failure in Iraq. Mike Barnacle, is that the uh, debate that George W. Bush and the Republicans on Capitol Hill want? Well, it might be if they're stupid, because if they, if out in the country, Joe, all any Democrat has to do is to say the same people like John Bonya, we, we just heard, who have seen we've got to support the troops. Take a look at Walter Reed. Look at how they support the troops. They, su they supported the troops in the mismanagement of the war. They support the tr they don't support the troops when they return from the same mismanaged war. These are the people telling us that we won't support the that we're not going to be supporting the troops if we cast this vote. I mean, they're not going to win that argument, Joe. Look, you, you, you want evidence? How do you respond? Yeah, how do you, you want evidence of how how stared Democrats are of this argument? Look at their first plan. Their first plan was targeting the surge only. Now, you know, and and the and the Republicans went after them with that rhetoric. Now they've actually gone further. They've set the timeline. Uh, they're you know they're they're fully they're moving towards uh, what what is even further no, than what they had initially proposed. This is a free throw. This is a free throw. They could do that. This is what I'm telling you. Look. They're all, if they can do this, they all get well on that. The crunch comes when the president vetoes it, and so if it gets through, and says, all right, now, give me the money for my troops that are out there. You've lost this round. Give me the money. Are but they going to stand exactly, up and say they no? Are offering well, the, the blue dogs, I know they will fund the war in the end. That's what I'm but Pat, you, they're, you were they're offering the money no, with the same Pardon? benchmarks that the administration says it wants. It wants but to make the, the progress, and the Democrats gonna, are demanding it. The administration's going to knock those benchmarks in the head, and when they do, the Democrats will fund the war without the be benchmarks. But when they Enough miss the benchmarks, that's even more reason. You know, they, they claim but, this is the one, the one last chance. That's what Mitch McConnell well, look, says. What's going to happen is the president's going to decide this after the surge is over around August or September, and after the Taliban offensive. I believe at that point the president's going to have to decide on both these wars, whether they can be sustained. But I don't think this thing is going to impose a timetable ultimately on this president. Do you, Joe? But, you know, Mike, Mike, Mike Barnacle, though, if you look at the president's standing, he's about as unpopular as any president since Jimmy Carter. What does this guy do? I mean, it's not exactly like he's negotiating from a position of strength. He's, so if he, the Democrats look at the polls, Mike, 
then they're going to be able to say, you know, maybe we can take this guy on. Republicans were scared of Bill Clinton uh, when he had 60 percent approval rating. But when he was in his 40s, we went after him. Joe, I'm, w I'm with Pat Buchanan on this. This president has nothing to lose. He doesn't care about the polls. He doesn't care about the Democrats' vote in the House of Representatives. He will veto that bill. He, how can he go any lower? He's, he's got his heat shield in Dick Cheney to help him preserve the 27 or 28 percent <laughs> of the Republican right. That's the only thing standing between him and complete collapse is Cheney. Cheney's the heat shield for his conservative base. He does not care about the poll numbers. He's going to do I, what he thinks is right. He's, he's demented on the war. There's no doubt about it. It's been totally mismanaged, but he's going to continue to do it. So, Mike Barnacle, I guess you could say that if you're a supporter of Bush, you should have a big old bumper sticker in the Redneck Riviera that says, God is my co-pilot and Dick Cheney is my heat shield, right? Yeah, that's it. There's a nice ring to that. I don't know. We shall see, Mike Barnacle, Pat Buchanan, Nico Pitney. Thank you so much. And here's my point, friends. You know, Regardless of whether you're for the president or for the Democrats on this issue, the Democrats do have the opportunity to stand up and provide a viable alternative to George Bush's vision of what we should and shouldn't do in Iraq over the, you know, what, what we should do over the next year. The president's had his way over the past four years. The American people said in November they want the Democrats to step forward and lead. Today, I think, was the first time that happened, and they do have the power if they've got the guts to stare down the president to change policy. Coming up next.